in the name of Almighty Allah the most beneficent the most merciful this is the second tutorial uh, for the Android drag and drop in the previous tutorial we designed uh, our uh, um, main activity XML file in which we we have uh, four text views the three text views will be dragged into the fourth text view which is the drag target so uh, the user will drag the text views and drop it into the fourth text view which is the target for all the three um, text views so this was the layout that we designed and now we move toward the main activity chart java where we define all these text views so text view uh, txt1 comma txt2 comma txt3 comma txt4 so these are the four text views and now let's type cast them first of all uh, press here alt enter so this will be imported and now txt1 is equal to text view find view by id r dot id dot txt1 find by id r dot id dot txt1 txt2 is equal to text view find view by id find view by id leggy r dot id dot txt2 and let's copy these two control c control v and change its name and the id for these txt4 is not txt4 it is the target so there are different options uh, for you to start the drag and we will uh, use here the uh, long press so we will say that view view dot on long click listener long click listener is equal to new on long click listener so this way now uh, here uh, we have defined the on long click listener, uh, click listener and the code that we write inside this long click listener will be executed when the user presses the text view and uh, keeps it pressed so this uh, creates the uh, long uh, long click listener uh, call it calls the long click listener or you can say it's long click listener gesture so you can see we have on long click listener and the code that we write here will be executed when the user presses and keeps the this text view pressed so now we will code here uh, to start the track so here first of all we create the clip data here we terminate this so clip data clip data and uh, data is, uh, is equal to new not new clip data <coughs> clip data dot create new plain text so here we have created our uh, clip data uh, which we create clip data uh, data is equal to clip data dot new play and text and this has created a new clip data of, uh, of play and text and now uh, using the um, drag shadow listener uh, drag shadow builder we create uh, the shadow for our view so how we create that is view dot drag 
shadow builder my shadow builder is equal to new view dot track shadow builder so now uh, it will take uh, a parameter which we, uh, which we provide so here we provide the v which is here v view and now uh, here we call the <coughs> excuse me here we got the uh, drag the uh, the, uh, the method from a uh, drag listener which is uh, start drag so here uh, we write that v dot start drag my android studio is getting laggy so here it takes uh, some parameters and the first one is that uh, clip data and so we provide data comma the next one is the track shadow builder so we say my shadow builder and the fourth one is object local state and local state we give the v in the view and the last one we provide flags we have we, we know we are zero we are passing zero flag and we make this return true so up till now uh, we have just uh, type casted our views and then we have built the view on long click listener now this a long click listener now we have the uh, event uh, generator event listener but there is no connection between them so we first of all here we create connection between them so txt1 dot set on long click listener and that is long click listener so similar way we may create that for all these four so as you can see that we have txt1 2 3 4 and for all that them we have a, a long click listener but for the fourth one i don't want to have because it is my target so i will remove this <coughs> so now um, we have the long click listener but we don't have the um, uh, 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 drag listener so we will create create here the drag listener which will listen to all the events generated by these uh, this method star drag so view dot on drag listener drag listener is equal to new view dot on drag listener So uh, here we class anonymous class derived from on we must either be declared abstract or implement method. So we here uh, press alt enter and implement method and press ok. So the on drag method will be implemented over here and terminated over here. So this is our on drag listener and there are um, a number of different actions generated here uh, which is uh, um, action drag entered action drag exited action drag drop so there are uh, a number of other uh, actions as well so but uh, here uh, the, the action that we need is action drop so also we will work on action drag entered and action drag exited so let's get started okay uh, so make this return true and here we get that <coughs> excuse me and drag event is equal to event dot get action so the action is uh, stored uh, in the drag event which uh, we have derived from event event dot get action so here we will switch this drag event switch drag event case uh, the first case to, uh, that we will be working uh, here is drag event dot get Mm, drag event dot action dot action drag uh, entered and th these are the different actions so first of all we will be uh, working on this action drag entered <coughs> and then we break this case 2 drag event dot action drag exit break case 3 drag event dot action drag action drop so these are the different events that we will be working over here this event uh, this is called when 
okay so we have four for these things over here columns so this action is called when the uh, any of these three uh, three views or text views enters the fourth text view so this will be called when we when uh, when the view is uh, exited so this action will be called and when the view is dropped in the target so this action will be called so <coughs> First of all, we, uh, we want to uh, check the um, action drag entered. So for that purpose, um, uh, here uh, we have to check some conditions that which we have entered and which uh, target. So suppose um, if you want only uh, text you want to be dropped in our target. So for that purpose, we will check which view has been dragged. So for that purpose, we have um, we will check final view view is equal to type cast it to view event dot get local state so this me this means that uh, and it tells us that which uh, view uh, is dragged so this will take all the information of the uh, of the view that is dragged and put it into the view uh, um, uh, object of the view class suppose if we drag txt2 so this will notify us that this is the um, txt2 or this will tell us that txt2 is dragged so if view dot get id is equal equal to r dot id dot txt one then do what then do this txt four dot set text text view one is tracked so if we drag the txt1 which is i have given over here so we will make the text of the target to set to text view is dragged so let's launch this app and for that purpose i will have to launch uh, jenny motion so let's launch jenny motion so finally i have launched my uh, and uh, this uh, jenny motion emulator but uh, before running our application uh, let's make uh, this text view one is dragged okay my laptop is just going slower and slower so we'll be make this text view one and we have to set uh, the on drag listener for that for this t uh, txt4 which is our target so let's do that as well and here we say that txt4 dot set on drag listener dot set on drag listener and that is drag listener It's taking a lot of time it's, it's done drag listener and now uh, we launch our app but it seems like uh, we have error somewhere let me find that okay that's not the error that was building this project okay so now let's run this application Select any motion preview, use the same device for future launches and press OK. Now the Gradle build has started and it will be launched. So the app is now launched. And these are the three text views and these are the target for drop. So if we long press this text one, so we can see that the drag has started. Similarly, if we long press this two, the drag has started. And this is our target drop but we have not checked for uh, txt2 so it will not say anything and if i drag the txt1 and you can say text view is text view one is dragged it changed its text to text view one is dragged what if you want to check for all these three so for that purpose we will do as this that we come to here
and again my Android Studio is going weird and it's not allowing me to write over it okay I think it worked out yeah it worked okay so here uh, we will do like this that uh, here we have only checked for text we want so we will say else if here we will say else if else if view dot get id is equal equal to r dot id dot txt2 then do this so here we say that txt4 we copy this text and place it uh, over here and we say that uh, txt2 is tracked txt2 is tracked and similarly and similarly we copy this text and Control C, Control V, and paste over here. If we don't get ID is equal equal to three, then say what? Text view three is dragged. Save this and run this app. So the app is launched, and now check for text three. I drag the text three, and it says text view three is dragged. And I drag the text two. It says text view two is dragged. And if I drag the text one. It says that text view one is tracked. Okay, um, so let me walk you through the code once more. So uh, first of all, uh, we created our this uh, layout, which is uh, here. Okay, so here we have the layout txt1, the ID is uh, txt1, txt2, txt3, and here we have the target, and we will drag this uh, and drop it over here. Uh, but since uh, but but still we are not doing drop we are doing uh, just checking uh, when the text enters this uh, area so here we uh, uh, define this uh, for text views and here we uh, typecast it and then we created the view dot on long click listener where, where we created the clip data and then we created uh, the drag shadow builder of this uh, view the view which will be uh, dragged and then we start the drag method and then we uh, set the on long click listener for these uh, three text views and then we created the view dot on drag listener and we set the target which is txt4 and set on drag listener drag listener or fair and the drag listener we have different actions uh, action drag entered action drag exited action drop and we are just now checking on the action drag entered as soon as the txt1 txt2 or txt3 enters the txt4 area so this uh, this code will be executed to find out which view is dragged, uh, we uh, use the uh, event dot get local state and uh, store the information in the view. And then using this view, we uh, get the ID uh, from this view and check which view is dragged. If it is mm, txt1, so the uh, target text will be set to txt1 is dragged. And if it is txt2, so the target text will be set to txt2 is dragged. And if it is txt3, so the target text will be set to txt3 is dragged. So that's all for this tutorial. And we will be working on the action drag exit, action drag uh, drop and in the final we will create a simple game uh, so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and learn something from it uh, see you in the next tutorial